I can't do it. I can't do it, Squidward. What? Every sentence, every paragraph, spoon, bread, salad, pepper. Don't you understand? My brain is full to bursting. If I have to memorize a single order, I think I'm gonna explode. SpongeBob, hold on. Have you ever wondered what hidden truths lie behind the cheerful facade of SpongeBob SquarePants? Today, we're diving deep into the world of Bikini Bottom to explore five creepy theories that will make you think twice while watching the show. But before we jump into this video, remember that these are just fun and sometimes downright creepy theories about our favorite underwater sponge and his friends. So grab your pineapple under the sea and get ready for a wild ride. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button for more content like this. Now let's get started. SpongeBob is a drug addict. A darker interpretation of the show suggests that SpongeBob's erratic behavior and surreal experiences are the result of drug addiction. This theory speculates that SpongeBob and his friends are under the influence of hallucinogenic substances. SpongeBob is known for his hyperactive and sometimes irrational behavior. From his impulsive decision making to his unpredictable mood swings, his actions often defy logic and reason. In the context of the drug addict theory, SpongeBob's erratic behavior can be seen as symptomatic of substance abuse. He got in bed with two coconuts. So, this is work? You know, it's not as easy as it looks. Sometimes I gotta move the antenna, sometimes I lose the remote, and sometimes my butt itches real bad. Oh, you poor, poor thing. By the way, you forgot your briefcase. Surreal Experiences Throughout the series, Spongebob and his friends frequently encounter surreal and hallucinatory experiences. From traveling to alternate dimensions to interacting with anthropomorphic sea creatures and having imaginary friends, the show's fantastical elements could be interpreted as distorted perceptions resulting from drug-induced hallucinations. Well, where is this new friend of yours? Don't let you do Sandy! He's standing right there! Huh? Oh, I'm sorry, SpongeBob, but I don't see anyone. He's the giant hamster! Right there! Unexplained Abilities SpongeBob and his friends possess various unexplained abilities and talents that defy the laws of nature. For example, SpongeBob's ability to inflate himself like a balloon or Patrick's seemingly limitless appetite could be attributed to the effects of drugs altering their perception of reality. <laughs> I guess he wasn't a lunatic after all. I'm flying! Questionable friendships. SpongeBob's relationships with his friends, particularly Patrick and Squidward, often involve enabling behavior and codependency. In the context of the drug addict theory, these relationships could represent the bonds formed between individuals who share a common addiction. My best friend and my ex best friend and rubber bath toys! Well, You're just yeah, a backbiting bathroom filling club! Lack of consequences. Despite their reckless behavior and numerous misadventures, SpongeBob and his friends rarely face serious consequences for their actions. This lack of accountability could be seen as a reflection of the character's detachment from reality due to substance abuse. The Seven Deadly Sins. Another theory is that each main character in SpongeBob represents one of the seven deadly sins. The Seven Deadly Sins theory suggests that the main characters in SpongeBob SquarePants embody various vices associated with the seven deadly sins. Pride, greed, wrath, envy, lust, gluttony, and sloth. By analyzing the personalities and actions of Spongebob and his friends through this lens, viewers can gain a deeper understanding of the underlying theme and character dynamics present in the show. Spongebob, despite his boundless enthusiasm and optimism, can be seen as embodying the sin of sloth due to his occasional laziness and procrastination. While Spongebob is generally hardworking and dedicated to his job at the Krusty Krab, he occasionally displays a lack of motivation and a tendency to avoid responsibility, preferring instead to indulge in leisure activities or daydreaming. I'm sorry, SpongeBob, but Gary's with me now. You had your chance and you failed. You have to stop living in the past. Face it, SpongeBob, you're only hurting yourself. Squidward Tentacles, Wrath, Anger. Squidward's bitter and cynical demeanor often leads him to lash out in anger and frustration, making him a fitting representation of the sin of wrath. Squidward's deep-seated resentment towards his cheerful neighbors, SpongeBob and Patrick, fuels his frequent outbursts and sarcastic remarks, highlighting his inability to find peace and contentment in his surroundings. That was a recumbent bicycle, and I sold it. Why? So I could get further away from you! <laughs> I'll see you later then, Squidward. 
Mr. Krabs' insatiable appetite for money and material wealth aligns with the sin of greed. As the owner of the Krusty Krab and purveyor of the famous Krabby Patty, Mr. Krabs prioritizes profits above all else, often resorting to unethical or exploitative practices to maximize his earnings. His obsession with hoarding wealth and reluctance to part with even the smallest amount of money epitomizes the dangers of unchecked avarice. I can't accept your money, Mr. Krabs. Grilling is my passion. What is this? You're making me pay you to stand at the cash register? What is the meaning of this? Have you gone off the deep end? There's gonna be a few changes around here. Every time I catch you two goofing off, I'm gonna charge you for it. Patrick's voracious appetite and tendency to overindulge in food and other pleasures make him a prime example of the sin of gluttony. Whether he's devouring countless Krabby Patties or lounging in front of the television, Patrick's insatiable hunger for gratification knows no bounds, highlighting the destructive nature of excess and indulgence. I can't go on. The taste, Patrick. Remember the taste. The taste. What's this? Patrick Starr has risen from his seat and is pointing to center field. No, wait! He's pointing to a widow boy with a hurt foot. Here you go, champ. Plankton's relentless pursuit of the Krabby Patty secret formula stems from his deep-seated envy of Mr. Krabs' success and prosperity. As the owner of the rival restaurant, the Chum Bucket, Plankton is consumed by jealousy and resentment towards his rival, driving him to extreme measures in his quest for dominance. His constant scheming and obsession with besting Mr. Krabs underscored the destructive power of envy. Wow. You must have snapped, Krabs. The Krabby Patty formula is finally mine! Uh, what happened? Oh, just a little security measure I've been working on. Sandy's confidence and pride in her intellect and accomplishments align with the sin of pride. As a highly skilled scientist and inventor, Sandy takes great pride in her intelligence and resourcefulness, often boasting about her achievements and superiority over her underwater counterparts. However, Sandy's arrogance and unwillingness to ask for help occasionally lead her to downfall, highlighting the dangers of excessive pride. While Gary the Snail may seem like an unlikely candidate for the sin of lust, his insatiable desire for attention and affection from his owner, SpongeBob, can be interpreted as a form of longing or desire. Gary's constant meowing and need for companionship reflect his craving for emotional fulfillment, highlighting the universal human desire for connection and intimacy. Time Loop Theory The Time Loop Theory proposes that the events of SpongeBob SquarePants occur in a perpetual time loop, where the characters are trapped in a cycle of repeating events with no discernible beginning or end. This theory suggests that the lack of aging and absence of permanent consequence in the show can be explained by the characters being caught in this endless loop of time. One of the key elements of the Time Loop Theory is the character's eternal youth and immortality. Despite the passage of time and the numerous adventures they embark on, SpongeBob, Patrick, Squidward, and the other residents of Bikini Bottom never age or experience any lasting effects from their actions. This perpetual state of youth supports the idea that they are trapped in a timeless loop. Throughout the series, viewers may notice recurring events and storylines that seem to repeat themselves with slight variations, whether it's Spongebob's never-ending quest for a boating license or Plankton's continuous attempts to steal the Krabby Patty formula, certain plot lines and gags recur throughout the show, reinforcing the idea of a cyclical timeline. First question! What time does the Krusty Krab open? 9.30 a.m. Right! That's one strike, Mr. Fake! But! Da -da! I'm running this quiz show! I'll ask the questions! Character Development Reset Despite the characters experiencing growth and development over the course of the series, their personalities and relationships often revert to their original state by the end of each episode. This reset button effect, where characters return to their default behaviors and dynamics, suggests a lack of progress or evolution, further supporting the notion of a time loop, lack of external changes. In addition to the characters themselves, the environment of Bikini Bottom remains largely unchanged throughout the series. Landmarks such as the Krusty Krab and SpongeBob's Pineapple house remain constant, with no visible signs of aging or decay. This static quality of the setting reinforces the idea that time is stuck in a perpetual loop. Why are you talking funny, lad? 
bad. I uh, anything can't do right since because pickles. Nonsense. You'll be back making crappy patties like your old self in no time. Meta references and self-awareness. Some episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants contain meta references and self-aware jokes that allude to the character's awareness of their repetitive existence. Whether it's SpongeBob acknowledging the formulaic nature of his boarding school failures or characters commenting on their predictable behavior, these moments suggest a deeper level of self-awareness within the show's universe. Plankton's true motives. The theories surrounding Plankton's true motives suggest that his relentless pursuit of the Krabby Patty formula is not solely driven by greed, but rather by a desire to improve the quality of life for the citizens of Bikini Bottom. According to this interpretation, Plankton sees himself as a misunderstood genius attempting to liberate the town from the perceived tyranny of Mr. Krabs. Plankton is portrayed as a highly intelligent inventor with a knack for creating advanced technology and innovative gadgets. Throughout the series, he showcases his ingenuity through inventions such as the Chum Bucket Mega Bucket and the Holographic Meatloaf. This suggests that Plankton's talents extend beyond mere greed and may be driven by a genuine desire to revolutionize the culinary landscape of Bikini Bottom. Yes. Yes. <laughs> What you doing, boy? Oh, my new magical talking spatula that I got from Plankton says it needs your Krabby Patty secret formula. Plankton's rivalry with Mr. Krabs can be seen as a critique of capitalism and monopolistic practices. By positioning himself as the underdog fighting against Mr. Krabs' monopoly over the fast food industry, Plankton represents the voice of small businesses and entrepreneurs striving to challenge entrenched power structures and foster competition. Misunderstood genius narrative. Some episodes of SpongeBob SquarePants portray Plankton as a misunderstood genius whose efforts to improve the lives of Bikini Bottom residents are often thwarted by his own arrogance and Mr. Krabs' ruthless business tactics. This narrative suggests that Plankton's motives are more nuanced than simple greed and stem from a genuine desire to enact positive change in the community. Plankton's character arc throughout the series hints at the possibility of redemption and reconciliation with Mr. Krabs. While he may initially be portrayed as a villainous antagonist, there are moments where Plankton's softer side is revealed, indicating that he may have noble intentions beneath his abrasive exterior. This opens the door for future storylines, exploring Plankton's journey towards redemption and forgiveness. Despite his villainous reputation, Plankton occasionally garners sympathy and support from the citizens of Bikini Bottom. This suggests that Plankton's motives may not be entirely selfish and that he genuinely cares about the well-being of his fellow residents even if his methods are unconventional. Come to Daddy Patty! <laughs> Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's Aging Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy, two retired superheroes from SpongeBob SquarePants, are depicted as elderly characters who exhibit signs of old age and senility. This portrayal serves as a humorous commentary on the challenges of aging and retirement, highlighting the absurdity of superheroes grappling with the mundane realities of growing old. Physical Decline Throughout the series, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are depicted as physically frail and prone to various ailments associated with old age. From their hunched postures to their slow movements and forgetfulness, the character's physical decline is played for comedic effect, emphasizing the absurdity of aging superheroes. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy often exhibit signs of forgetfulness and senility, struggling to remember the important details or complete simple tasks. Whether they're misplacing their utility belts or forgetting the names of their allies, the character's mental decline serves as a humorous commentary on the effects of aging and cognitive function. Reluctance to Retire Despite their advanced age and declining abilities, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy are reluctant to fully embrace retirement and continue to yearn for the excitement of their superhero days. This reluctance reflects the common desire among many elderly individuals who may maintain a sense of purpose and identity in their later years, even in the face of physical limitations. Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy often reminisce about their past adventures and glory days as superheroes, longing for the excitement and recognition they once enjoyed. This nostalgia highlights the bittersweet nature of aging as the characters grapple with the passage of time and the loss of their youthful vitality. The interactions between Mermaid Man, Barnacle Boy, and the younger characters in SpongeBob SquarePants, such as SpongeBob and Patrick, further underscore the humor and and poignancy of their aging process. Whether they're struggling to keep up with the energetic antics of their youthful counterparts or imparting words of wisdom from their superhero days, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy's presence serves as a reminder of the inevitable passage of time. Oh, Mermaid Man and Barnacle!
Jungle Boy, unite! So tell me, what are your thoughts on these theories? Could there be hidden truths lurking beneath the surface? Are the writers of Spongebob weaving cryptic messages into the cartoon code? As always, thanks so much for joining us on this dive into the creepy side of Spongebob. If you have your own theories or thoughts about Spongebob, drop them in the comments below. And don't forget to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button to stay updated on all future content. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the secrets of Bikini Bottom. I'll see you in the next one. I'm glad you passed the test. I'm glad you have a license. And to prove it, I made you this. Hell's forever. Let's put it on your boatmobile, buddy. Oh, I don't have a boatmobile anymore. What?